Hey you guys, welcome to a brand new video. My name is Erin, if you don't know that already, but you should. Today, we're actually gonna be playing with the Bellamy wig. I actually have to give credit where credit is due. So I've had these wigs for quite some time now, um, but because of quarantine, I've just been like, oh my god, like, let me get into them, let me play around. But it wasn't until I started seeing Arnel Armand and Alyssa Ashley. But she does this really cool videos where she installs wigs from start to finish inspired by a celebrity. Um, so I thought I would kind of piggyback off that and do something pretty iconic. But yeah, we're gonna be playing with this wig. Let's get into her. <laughs> Here we go. And she's actually one that I have already played with. I did go ahead and post a picture in him because he was a him when I posted that picture. But I do think that like, I have to do a lot of things to get her to look real snatched. The part needs to be plucked a little bit. I think that I'm gonna do baby hairs. Actually, I haven't even told you guys who I'm trying to do. So pray for me, but here she is. This is what I'm gonna be trying to recreate, of course. It had to be the iconic Miss Kim Kardashian West. You heard it. Pluck the part, um, but let me see. I'm not quite sure if she has baby hairs, which, I mean, Kim Kardashian doesn't really do baby hairs, which is good, because I think that'll make it easier for me. Okay, so since I don't really have like a proper wig stand, I think I'm gonna have to pop her on to kind of figure out um, the part that I want and obviously Kim Kardashian has a middle ass part So that's what we're gonna go for. I, sh I am gonna use a wig cap as well once I actually glue this bitch down But for now oh, that's Scary a scary sight and we're also gonna cut her Okay, so now that I have her part where I want it to be, also you guys, this isn't a full lace wig, so I'm only going to be able to part like the front, um, but I think that's enough for me to be able to like finesse it all or whatever. Um, now what I'm going to do is pull her off. Yes, yes. We're going to pull her off. Again, I wish I had a fucking wig stand, but I don't, so we're going to do what we can with what we have. I'm just going to set her down. Um, and pluck her. All right, you guys, so I thought I would just pop in here for a little voiceover moment. Uh, this is me just plucking her part, uh, and also I was taking a little comb uh, and combing it through to take all of the hair out. Okay, so here we are. Oh my God, <laughs> do I look crazy? So basically, I've already plucked her um, I've plucked her part, I've plucked um, the front, um, and I've plucked a little bit of the rest of the wig because if you see in the picture, Kim's hair is laying so flat. Since I don't have a wig stand, I realize that I have to style the wig on my head, which I know what you're thinking. And did I mention this is my first wig install ever? So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my wig cap. I'm gonna glue this bitch down. Also, since we're in quarantine, I'm kind of just like using the things that I have at home already. And I don't have the got to be spray, uh, but I have this got to be glue. Um, so that's what we're gonna use. And hopefully it works. Pray for me, cause I'm going in. to just, to be bald, basically. Okay, I think I'm ready to cut it, but 
But for the record, I'm really fucking nervous. And then I mentioned this is my first time installing a wig or not. Hmm. So I'm styling her now. I'm straightening her um, before I cut her. I just want to see the length. Okay, so I think that I have her styled the way that I want. She's kind of perfectly flat, which I do really enjoy. We gotta cut her. It's time to cut her. I'm scared, I don't wanna ruin her. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> Had to jump in here because it was at this very moment that I realized I messed up because instead of pulling the wig this way and out, I should have gone like down and next to my jaw to like get the right length. <sighs> Oh my god, you guys, look. So, she's cut, she's a little styled, but it's so late, it's like two, it's 2 a.m. So I think I'm gonna wrap her and call it a night, and then tomorrow we'll be back at it. Oh, also, I got so excited that I glued her down and I forgot to record. I think that I cut it too short, defo. But I think that it'll work. It's my first time, you guys. Bear with me. Alright, I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, honeys. This is just me brushing my hair after sleeping in a nightcap, which is so hard, by the way. Do you see it? It needs to be flatter, huh? And I totally cut it too short. Whatever, I think that we can finesse it still. Anyway, we should probably do our makeup now. I'm popping in here for another little voiceover. This is me using the e.l.f. Putty Primer, which is gonna blur your pores. I'm obsessed with it. I then decided to switch my lens um, and bring you guys in a little bit closer. This is me using the Dragon Beauty uh, Color Corrector, which I'm obsessed with. And blend, blend, blending her out. Also, I hate myself for the next part. <laughs> Anyway, back to business. This is me using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. Um, I wanted to use something a little bit dewier. It does look like Kim Kardashian's makeup was uh, kind of a little bit on the dewier side, which I do love. I am more of a matte kind of girl, um, but I wanted to switch it up for her. Um, then I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Uh, this is in Warm Beige, uh, but then I realized it was a little bit too like my skin tone, so I went a little bit high, uh, lighter uh, to the color Nude and blended that out, uh, and I really enjoyed the brightening effect that, that gave my face, uh, because again, it seemed like Kim's face was very flawless and very bright. This is me using the one and only Laura Mercier um, Translucent Powder, brushing it off. Uh, then we head into our bronzer to sculpt the face a little bit. This is from Too Faced. Just got a brush, 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 blend, blend, blend. Uh, and then we obviously hit our nose. Snatch the nose. Can I breathe? Probably not. Not after the snatch of this nose that I do because uh, I've been perfecting this for quite some time now. Moving on to our eyeshadow, I'm using a Morphe palette. I'm not quite sure which one it is, um, but Kim's eyelid looked very nude, so that's what I'm going for here. Then moving on to the brows, obviously all of my brow products are from Benefit, um, because she truly knows what she's doing, Miss Benefit over there. Um, so first I penciled them in a little bit. I don't really have to do much because, like I've mentioned before, my eyebrows are very thick um, and here in it to win it or whatever. Ooh, thirsty girl. <laughs> 
Moving on to our eyeliner. This is obviously the roller eyeliner from Benefit. Once again, coming through. I wasn't able to uh, do the uh, tail on her on camera because it was a struggle. I had to go in and clean it up with my concealer. Um, but overall, it looked pretty good. Oh, she looked good. Oh, thirsty girl once again. Moving on to a little Morphe setting spray, drying her off, you know. Then we're obviously using Lily Lashes. I didn't even realize that that wasn't in focus. In style Miami, of course. Um, eyelashes just really change the look. It takes it there. I don't know how to act once my lashes are on. Next we have the Dragon Beauty Transformation Powder, which really finishes off the face and gives it a little brightening moment or whatever. And last but not least, we have an iconic nude lip moment. Fam, I'm going to try and conceal the whole part all the way to the back to make it look a little bit more realistic. But I'm scared. after I cut her because I totally messed her up let's not lie but I think for my first wig install I think I think I snap I think that I snap what do you guys think huh let me know in the comment section down below and make sure to share this video if you liked it I honestly it is what 2 p.m. of the next day and I started at 4 p.m. yesterday so please, please, please give this video a big, huge like if you thought this was cool. I did spend a lot of time on this look. I wish she was flatter. I wish she was longer. But I think I pulled her off. Kim K, if you're watching this, sis, oh my god. I am also going to be taking some pics here at home, obviously, because we're in quarantine. I'm here to tell you to make sure and go uh, check out those pictures on my Instagram. Forgot to plug myself, how rude, at Aaron underscore Pino or whatever. Once again, Arnell, if you're watching this, thank you so much. You were the inspo uh, for me getting creative like this and like actually sitting down and installing a wig. I think that I've learned many things, like get a fucking, like good scissors. <laughs> um, but I think that overall, like, I finessed it. It works. I'm your lawyer. Kim Kardashian West. Does someone need a lawyer? I'll be right there. Oh my god, I gotta go. Until next time, you guys. Mm -hmm.